Smile, tell the face, tell me that you care Even if you don't, it's what I need to hear Oh, lie to me And take your time with it Make me feel all that I need to feel I don't even care if it's not real Oh, lie to me And take your time with it Said everyone knows that a lot has changed But part of me still feels the same So could you please just tell me that you love me Say that you think of me Tell me that you miss me Say that I'm what you need I'm wondering whether You could do better I'm turning in crazy Thinking about it daily When you were my lady So go ahead and say it If you want And I know Hello everyone, this is Inspire 2016 We would like to give you a free tarot card reading Focusing on your love life and your relationship this tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life including your past your presence and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading so the way we laid out the card we will draw four cards for you so the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future so i hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel thank you hello leo this is inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week commencing the 2nd of january until the 8th of january 2017 the first card for you is representing the past position of your love life your card is the page of swords you could not wait to meet your partner and get started on a new project or an idea and also to share that with others you have started all new projects ventures and journeys with a huge amount of energy and excitement the challenge however is whether you can keep it up as with all pages the beginning always looks promising but something else is needed in order to maintain the pace the Page of Swords is almost like a green light to say, go for it. There are always going to be challenges with whatever option you choose and not everyone is going to be happy with your choices but when it comes down to it, you need to follow your passions and go where your true energy lies. This page encourages you to move forward and to get the wheels in motion, despite any challenges or setbacks that may potentially stand in the way. This card shows you as a young and idealistic person, with lots of plans and ideas for the future. At this moment, you feel as though you could do almost anything. As a page, you are just beginning to make your way in life, and it is important that you align with others who will not overwhelm you or stifle your direction and ideas. Instead, seek to align yourself with people who will nurture your ideas and will help you to manifest them in an organized manner. Choose a relationship that feels natural, with someone who will learn and grow along with you and give you a chance to develop your own personality and expression. You have an intelligent and sensitive nature, and you may suffer a lot if there is no outlet for your ideas and feelings. The Page of Swords is as perceptive as the Queen of Swords. He has the ability to find out the truth regarding all matters by asking all the important questions. However, what makes him different to the Queen is that he lacks experience and maturity, so his questioning and probing may become annoying to others as he constantly asks why. Nonetheless, he has both mental and physical agility and is full of anticipation, making him an avid learner and an excellent student. The Page of Swords is also all about communication, information and ideas. This card is an indication that you need to appreciate and communicate ideas, information and theories. These ideas, information and theories may be your own or someone else's. 
it does not really matter, so long as you are involved in talking, sharing and conversing with others about these ideas. You are always coming up with something new and then finding someone to share it with. You also have a way with words, being a good writer or speaker, and you are passionate about what you are doing. However, be careful that you do not engage in gossip. While this page loves to talk and to be in the know, it is important that you use this talent to benefit others, rather than to create negativity. You may also want to be careful about what you say to whom, as you may be more prone to sharing confidential information about yourself. So, protect your privacy. And you may need to first ground your thoughts, before speaking, in order to ensure that you do not later regret what you have said. The Page of Swords can also stand for a child or young at heart adult whose relationship to you involves truthfulness, the search for information and new ideas, or matters of the mind and intellect. You may have your moments with this page, as the swords often indicate a level of tension or conflict, and this bundle of energy may sometimes prove too much to handle. If you need to, give yourself a break from this youthful person, and return with fresh eyes. They do have a lot to share with you, and despite their inexperience, they may actually teach you something about yourself. You need to remain open to their high levels of energy and enthusiasm to learn more about the world. As a child, the Page of Swords encourages you to have fun with mental activities of all kinds including learning, exploring, and researching. Enjoy the world of thought your mind can open to you. The downside of the Page of Swords is the turbulent nature of intellectual discovery and inspiration unchecked by experience or wisdom. This page seems to be either on the defensive, protecting his ideas, or on the offensive, looking for some victim of the double-edged sword of his mind. Perhaps he is seeking a confrontation in the intellectual sense or has the desire to prove himself mentally superior to others. The trouble is that he does not yet have the maturity to express himself in a way that is always constructive, and may come across as oppositional or just too in your face. The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the Eight of Wands. You are so sure about your goal that all distractions have been removed and you can devote yourself to the task with complete concentration, determination, and will. This experience can be very productive, allowing you to accomplish a lot in short time. With the Eight of Wands, you can look forward to the rapid completion of a project that is currently underway but you can also expect to be occupied by something new and even more exciting and inspiring very soon. There really is no stopping you right now as you are just bursting with energy and ideas, and cannot wait to achieve one task in order to start another. To maximize this energy, it is important to ensure that your activities are focused on your broader goals and that you are investing in the right things at the right time. Also, make sure that before you move to the next task, your previous task is complete. This card is a sign to strike while the iron is hot. It is most definitely an action-oriented card that encourages you to move quickly to pursue the best opportunities available right now. There is no waiting around while the Eight of Wands is present so determine where your energy will be directed and get on with it. Often, the Eight of Wands suggests air travel. It is more likely to be a short-term or whirlwind trip, such as a business trip or holiday. You may even enjoy being part of a tour group that visits 10 countries in as many days. On the downside, the Eight of Wands denotes haste and rapid advancement of a situation which may result in the wrong decisions being made. It will be important to have all your resources available to be used in your best interests. Be mindful not to rush into things without having a clear plan of where you are heading. The third card for you is representing, the future of your love life. Your card is, 
The Nine of Wands. You are so close to completing a particular project or task but at the last minute, you are faced with yet another challenge or setback. Know that you have the inner resources necessary to overcome any difficulty you encounter, even though it may seem impossible at the time. You are so close to finally achieving success, do not give up now. The Nine of Wands is a sign of hope and encouragement that if you stand firm and strong against your challenges, you will achieve your goal. The challenges before you now are only the last bit of darkness before the break of a wonderful dawn. The Nine of Wands is like the one last test or challenge before you can reach ultimate success. You feel as if you have come to the end of your fighting powers but you have the skill and determination in reserve. You are in a position of strength and by drawing upon all of your courage and abilities, you will prevail. Once the last obstacle is overcome, you are home free. The Nine of Wands encourages you to be resilient. You will continue to be opposed by hidden enemies and your interests will be questioned. Even in the face of such adversity, when you are feeling battled and bruised, you need to be patient and vigilant. Be assured that you will eventually prosper if you maintain your position. And remember, if you do not succeed at first, then try again. You may have experienced setbacks that now leave you feeling distrustful of others or even yourself. The turning point will come when you are able to leave the past behind you and to cultivate a more open mind about the future. While you have experienced losses in the past, it does not mean that you have to experience further losses in the future. Turn a new leaf and push on. Sometimes, the Nine of Wands encourages a risk-averse approach. You need to expect the worst and therefore take extra precautions to avoid any negative consequences to your plans. You need to be on guard and wary of any potential obstacles or opponents who may stand in your way. The last card for you is Guidance for your love life. The Guidance card for you is. Express your inner truth. If you have been feeling creatively blocked, the message from this card will help you flow again. Begin by expressing exactly how you are feeling right now. Write it, sing it, paint it, photograph it, dance it, or proclaim your inner truth in whatever way you like. When you begin with the truth of how you're feeling in the moment, you unplug creative blocks. Although you may feel vulnerable when you express your current emotions and thoughts, Remember that this is a process that will lead you to new creative heights. You don't have to reveal your embarrassing feelings to the public. However, you do need to express them to yourself in order to get to the place of authentic creativity. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.